Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. What do we know about Wale Adebayo, who is popularly known as Shongo? Wale Adebayo was born in Abeokuta in Ogun State, but he grew up in Lagos State. He attended Satellite Town Primary and Secondary School for his primary education and his secondary education. Before he proceeded to Obafemi Awolowo University, where he studied law. He's originally from Undo State, even though he was born in Abeokuta in Ogun State. When did he start acting? He started acting when he was in Satellite Secondary School from the Dramatic Society. And ever since then, the rest has been history. When did he shot into the limelight? He shot into the limelight when he played the lead role in the epic movie Shongo, the legendary African king in the year 1997. Aside to acting, what does he do? He also produces and directs movies. This actor revealed that he has been playing that part Shongo since he was a kid, even when he was in the church. They had a cultural trip and he always acted Shongo and of course, he would need to make fire to come out of his mouth. However, in the year 1992 when he got into the university, the church was opening their Ibadan missionary building. The Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria presented a cultural play as they had always done since they were children. During that play, when all the ladies bowed before Shongo, he came from behind and breathed fire. In his words, what I had always done, which worked was to put kerosene in my mouth and spit it out. Then the fire comes out. That has always been the routine. On this particular day, Reverend Fathers, Governors and other dignitaries were seated. I did my normal stuff. But unfortunately for me, the play was done outdoors and it was a windy day. I did not take the cognizance of the wind and that was how I got burnt. I still have the scars on my hand till date. Immediately I breathed the fire with kerosene in my mouth. The wind blew it back at me. My mother was in the crowd. I'm a holy son and she was so scared that I heard her shout before I started feeling the pain. I still had to finish the show. So anytime someone tagged me in any of those Shongo mishaps on social media, they do not know that I quickly go to the victim's page to make sure the person is alright. I would make a comment and probably follow the person. People do not know why I do that but it is because I've had a similar experience before, he said. What led him into acting? Basically, he has always had a creative spirit. It was almost a certainty that somehow his spirit and the acting of film industry will eventually collide. And he did when he was still in class 3 in Satellite Secondary School in Satellite Town, Lagos State. He joined the Dramatic Society in the school and as they say, the rest is history. So how does it feel being called Shongo? He said he got used to the name after a while. In his words, I could not even get anyone to call me by my real name. Once too, some of my closest friends had my name saved on their phone as well Shongo while I was trying to avoid the name. A friend told me the harshest reality that rather than shy away from it, I should embrace it as a brand name. It was not easy, but I started changing my Instagram handle to Shongo Original. So somehow, I just followed the flow. Let's talk about his personal life. Wale Adebayo got married years ago and him and his wife were blessed with three kids. Wale Adebayo relocated his family to the United States of America some years ago. Wale Adebayo got married to an American in July 1999. So why did he relocate to the US? Well, he revealed that relocating to the state was more of a family decision than his own desire. Wale Adebayo is someone who keeps his family out of the media. Is Wale Adebayo Adebayo Salami's son, the veteran Yuba actor? No, but he shares the same name with Adebayo Salami's first son. What has been his motivation? His motivation is not capital or the word of some sort in terms of monetary values. Those are not his own motivations. In his words, I'm still one of those old-fashioned people that believe that art for art's sake. Because just seeing what you've created and seeing it appreciation by people is enough to just give me a lift. Yes, we need money to sustain ourselves. The world has gone digital, so you know you can't afford to lack. And once you know you can't afford to lack, then somewhere along the line, you still need to have a commensurate level of monetary reward to keep you above board. But as far as my motivation goes, I think it's just the creation of art, as that makes me happy, he said. On the quality of movies churned out in Hollywood, he said movies are a true reflection of our cultures and values. Indian films depict lots of singing, dancing and merrymaking. Hollywood showcases their technologies and ways of life. It follows naturally that Nigerian movies must also reflect our rich social and cultural heritage. I don't think we need to apologize for being who we are. The only improvement is to ensure we showcase aspects of our cultures that project us positively. It is your best clothes you spread by the roadside. We cannot and should not demarcate ourselves by ourselves, he said. So what is the Shongo brand all about? Well, it started just as a feature-length movie to bring awareness to the rich cultural heritage of the Yoruba race. He did that and more. As you know, 
22 years ago when the movie was shot, the Nigerian film industry was just getting its bearing. So a lot of what they did was novel. The Shango brand did not set in until three years later when people could actually not see him as Wale Adibayo the actor, but more as Shango the actor called Wale Adibayo. As a multi-talented person, how does he juggle acting, directing, and producing? Basically, when you love to do what you're doing, it makes it easier to do it well. I remember when I used to direct for Wale Adinuga Productions. Wale Adinuga Productions gave me my first full directorial debut. I also acted in some of the series, and for me, it was both a thrilling and educative experience, he said. So how was he able to manage the fame that came with playing Shango? Let's just say that he did not change the person that he was, but he also moved with the flow of being a celebrity all of a sudden, and that leaves a long-lasting impression on him. So as a graduate of law, has he ever entertained the thought of practicing and being a lawyer? Of course, I entertain it all the time. It's not easy to have gone through the pressure of studying to be a lawyer and then end up just abandoning it for something else. I'm hoping that someday soon, I will do something tangible with my law degree. So what are the blessings from the Shongo grant? He said, first and foremost, it positioned me to be able to talk to people that hitherto would have looked down on me as an upcoming actor. But the moment they saw me in that movie, Shongo, I became a major player. I could sit down and say this is how a movie should be done and they would listen to me because I have a good background coming from a movie base that works in Nigeria. Even if shooting the movie in such place as Hollywood, the entire country will stand up and because of that i stand here today talking to you not because i'm a nollywood actor per se what about the cost of playing shango he won't say it is a cost in his words i won't say it is a cost because i was young and to be honest with you i was not ready for the thing that came with it i mean being put in the eye of the problem i mean being put in the eye of the public all of a sudden not that i did anything outlandish but it was more like what i know now compared to what i knew then are quite different and you know a lot of my colleagues did turn their own to fortune you wish for a lot of things to happen, but they did not. He sadly lost his mother some years ago. What are these memories of his mother? She was a laborer factory worker before she started working with NMPC at Telecom. All her life as a young woman, he revealed that every single cover she earned was spent on her children. There is no school that he had been to that his mother had not, had not been. He was a very stubborn kid. She was the one that followed him during crisis. She would not only go there with him, she also helped every other person that was caught in the trouble. She was the one that built him and the other guys. The movie Shango revolutionized the Nigerian home video industry as we now know it. It was a groundbreaking movie that opened doors for him in the sense that directors and producers practically wanted him on their movie sets. Apart from Shango, he was also part of the early characters in arguably Nigeria's most popular soap opera called Super Story, One Bad Apple, for his impression on Nollywood. Of course, there are rooms for improvement, but considering the hostile environment in which the operators have to work, one can tell but salutes their resilience. The output is massive. Nollywood is reputed to be the third largest movie industry in the world. The storylines and character development are work in progress. The few glitches we still get in our movies now are an easy fix, but like I just said, it is work in progress. After all said and done though, the largest room in the world is the room for improvement. Even Hollywood and Bollywood strives for perfection on a daily basis. On the quality of movies churned out in Hollywood, the multi-talented actor believes which content is being being offered while urging movie professionals to make sure which cultural heritage that approaches the country positively should be exhibited. We are coming to the end of this episode on Wale Adebayo, popularly known as Shango. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.